Share, share, share. I hope you're okay. Thank you for joining me. Guess what? Teresa's in the house. Woo -woo 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 -woo. Yes, the lovely Teresa Collins is standing by. She's got something amazing to show you. She is such a giddy kipper today, let me tell you. She's been working on a little mini project that you're all going to love. She's just been showing me it before we were going to go live. I was like, oh, that's amazing. So adorable and so, so easy. So if you watched our last show with the lovely Teresa, you will know that we do a little project with a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. I know you all have those papers in your stash. So whether you're stroking them or smelling them or just putting them to one side and keeping them for your favourites, then you need to get them out and have a play with me and Teresa. So we're always going to try and do a little mini project with a 12 by 12. Now, Teresa has already been doing this for years, projects with 12 by 12 pieces of paper. So I was so excited when she said, let's just do some projects with some 12 by 12 sheets of paper and let's get people to use the stuff that they have in their stash. And it's also dragging me along as well to do things as well and be more creative with my papers. So welcome to the channel, everyone. We will do a quick shout out, but if you are not a subscriber to our channel, please click that subscribe button. Teresa Collins also has her YouTube channel as well, and she's got a hive of activity over there with lots of projects and stories and life talks and things like that. So I encourage you to go and check out her YouTube channel as well. If you click that like button and the little heart and the bell, you'll get all the notifications when we are live, which is nearly every day. OK, it's a little treat to have Teresa here. So hopefully you have all come. So if you do want to join in, you're going to need a sheet of 12 by 12 paper, maybe a scoreboard, some glue, um, and then you can embellish it when we've gone off air and make it your own personal little giftable with photos, tags, all of the good stuff. So, is everybody okay? The weather's a bit hot. It is hot. I don't want to hear your horror stories, but I will do a little bit of a shout out. So, wow, there's lots of you on. It's just moving a little bit fast. Just give me a second. There's lots of you on Facebook today. That's incredible. I think that's because Teresa's actually on Facebook as well. She also has a Facebook page, so go and check that one out as well. So we have Kylie, we have Kay, Anne, Charlotte, Enid, Michaela, Rosie, Tanya. Phew, my gosh, it's going too fast. Anne, Enid, and then on our other social media pages, we have lots, <laughs> there's so many pages to monitor and you're all watching your own little precious places. So I will try and shout out, I'll try and not leave anybody out, but I want to get straight into the show this afternoon because there's lots to show you. Teresa's gonna go first this time and I'm gonna go second because I went first last time and now it's Teresa's turn. And she's gonna show you a fun way to utilize those papers. So if you are crafting along, she'll do it step by step for you. But equally, if you want to pause the show, you can pause the show or you can watch it at a later time or date and do the mini projects. What we do ask though, is that you share your makes on the Eureka fan page. But equally, if you make Teresa's project, go and share it on her social media page as well because she loves to see your makes. She mm. is the lady that loves to share the love of craft. She's actually my sister. We didn't actually know it, but we've just, every time we talk, we've decided we're crafty sisters. We're just exactly the same. I have brown hair, she has blonde hair, but we all love the love of craft and picking up those craft products and items. So let's say hello to our lovely friend. I'm delighted when she comes in studio. I get a beautiful spring in my step because she's so positive. So let's say hello to our lovely Teresa. How are you doing, my sweetheart? Hello, I'm doing so good. I'm so good. Such it a good very hot. Very hot. Is that the project in your hand? You're all ready to go. Yeah. So I went a little crazy and from one sheet of 12 by 12 paper, I did a whole folio in three different ways. Obviously, I can't teach it all three ways, but I'm going to teach the basics of it. And OK, I'll just kind of show you. So from one sheet of paper, you guys, you can make this really cool folio. Um, I, you know, there's you can do anything you want, but I even added like little mini books in here. And there's a pocket here that I added one of my Teresa Collins little mini notebooks. Yay. How cute is that? That is yeah. so pretty. One sheet of paper. And I so love, cool. love this. So hopefully um, this will inspire you to take out your 12 by 12 papers and use make projects with those. Yeah, absolutely. So before Teresa gets into that first demo, I'll let her get ready. One quick one. 
we are going to do a giveaway. Um, I'm going to give away some lovely Teresa Collins products because we still have some products left from when she visited our store. So all you need to do is pop a comment underneath this video when we have gone off air. Uh, did you enjoy the show? Did you make the project? Are you intending to make the project? And then we'll pick a winner tomorrow. And then I've got a few giveaways to do shouts out for tomorrow. So don't forget to pop a comment underneath this video when we have gone off air and uh, we will do that fabulous giveaway. Now, I'm going to try and craft along with Teresa. I didn't do a great job last time, so I intend to get better this time. It's still Christmas in my world, Teresa, so I'm using your lovely Christmas papers, but equally you can use any of the papers that you have in your stash as well. So while we just get ready for that first demonstration and she just gets ready with her camera, don't forget share if you've got a facility to share that but share this show that would be amazing them the wider the reach the bigger the better htcm will grow and we get people to know about teresa in the uk not that probably most people don't know teresa she's been around a while in a great way <laughs> so let's go over to teresa how have you got everything are we ready no oh. I'll just give it a second then, just before we get started. So I'm going to do, let me show you what I'm going to do while we just get ready for Teresa, just one second. Oh, let's have, oh my gosh, we've got so many people on from the USA. Fans of Teresa already. So Teresa, oh my gosh, I want to make this project. Florence, hello. Hey there. That's it. I'm going to start saying that. Hey there. Um, Laurie Mistretta Ing, lovely to meet you, sweetheart. So Angie Cal Duden, hello sweetheart. Lots of you are, lots of you are. You've all got really posh names. <laughs> Not like me, Tony. Right, okay, I think we're ready now. So let's get over to Teresa and let's see what she's oh look at that. Oh that's gorgeous paper. Stop right now. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna use is this is called Lilac Avenue, and it is um when you do this project, you want to use a thick cardstock weight paper. My paper is very, very thick. You can see here, um, especially for this, this is metallic um, silver hearts. Hopefully you can see that. So, and what you're going to do is you're just going to cut your paper. Um, if, if you have a 12 by 12 paper, like I do, if you have the, you know, the logo or whatever, so you can keep this and use this, but you can, um, cause I love this one. This paper says spread love everywhere you go. I like to put those on my papers. And so then you're gonna take your sheet of paper and you're gonna need a scoreboard. So this is a 12 by 12 paper. Uh, by the way, I love, love this so much. I love your, your cutting and scoreboard. It's so nice. So then you're <laughs> gonna want a scoreboard. And so the tip, the trick to this, you guys, is whatever you want to be on the outside. So you can see here, this is the outside of one of my folios. I'll show this really quick. So if you, like for example, I wanted this to, this is um, from my paper line, Russia Magic. And you can see I did this one. I did all of these folios different. So you can kind of like, you can always watch this back and see how I've done different ones. So whatever you want on the outside of your paper, you're gonna put down on your scoreboard like that and make sure you, it's going up, if that makes sense. So we're gonna put this here and then you're gonna score. So again, you can watch this later. I'm gonna go over this, but you're gonna score um, four different um, lines here. So you're gonna go at two and three quarters, two and three quarters, and you're gonna give it a good score, okay? You want a good score here, okay? So that's your first one. Um, and then, I like to go over it twice. And then the next score is six and a six and a quarter. Okay, six and a quarter, six and one fourth right here. Okay, give it a good score, good score. And then you're gonna go six and a half, okay? So this is something that after you've done this a few times, you're gonna get so used to this and there's so many different ways to do this. And I will um, also type out, once I'm done with this, I will type out here the measurements again, or again, you can just rewatch this again. So then 10 and a half, 10 and a half. Okay, so let me go over that again. So from the left, two and three fourths, six 
and a and six and one fourth, six and one half, and then ten and a half. So you can see here, I'll just kind of show like from here, you can see it's scored here, these two lines and there. Now you're gonna rotate it one turn to your left, okay? So you're gonna rotate your paper just one turn to your left. And then you're gonna score two more times, okay? You're gonna score it at two inches. This is something you're gonna wanna I have a feeling you're going to want to redo these over and over and over. Two inches, and then you're going to score it at seven and a half inches. Okay, and I know it, you can't really see that. So um, once you, again, two inches and seven and a half inches. Okay, and then this is where really, really important you're going to take, just go ahead and move your scoreboard. Okay, and this is where I really like to, I still take my bone folder, my score, and this is where, oops, I dropped something. Um, you're gonna take it, and it's really important that you score everything on those lines, and meaning like you're just gonna like make sure you get a really nice fold, if that makes sense. So. Go over with your scoring tool so that you get a really nice crease. And that's going to really make your book lie flat and look really good. Okay, so we have that. And you can see I did this one, and then I'm going to go the opposite direction. This is why you want, my, my paper is like 110-pound cardstock white paper, and that's why you want a thick paper because if you have a thinner paper, it will not withstand um, kind of some of the things that we're doing with it. Okay, I always like to go back and forth. And yes, it takes a little bit longer time, but you're gonna love the results so much more if you have um, your your good your your scores. Okay, here we that's, go. That's looking fabulous already. I just love the color of that one. Isn't this? It's so beautiful. I love this line. Um, this line has even um, like gold glitter, twelve by twelve paper in it. It's a very popular line for us, and I know. Over in the UK, you love you love this color, and so I thought I would show it today because um, I love this one so much. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get so there's the you can tell that little line there. So this is this is something that um, the the cool thing about this book is you can have it to be a photo album or you can have it just be just like a regular you know just a regular add it to your planner or you know so depending on if you want to add photos or not so then you can tell so that it's hard to see but i have scored and i have folded all of my lines here now this is where um i want you to take your paper and hopefully i don't know hopefully you can see this so i'm going to cut this and then i'm going to pause because i know that this can get very confusing right so what you're going to do is you are going to take this, we're gonna cut out some pieces, but when we cut these, we're gonna cut out four pieces, you guys. But once you cut it out, you're gonna keep the pieces because they are gonna make your book interactive. So I'm kind of just, I'll show you, for example, this is, um, this is the same book as this one. Okay, so I wanna show you this really quick so that in case you're cutting this or you're, you're pausing, so you can see here, I've created a little thing. I've got, I love my flowers. This is closed with ribbon. So this is the same book without photos. So this was, these two are from my paper line favorites. Okay, so two different ones, double-sided. So I wanna show you how I did this one a little different, right? So depending on, there's a pocket here, there's a pocket there. So when you get, when you do your book, this one I made into a pocket too. I don't know if you can see that this is a pocket. Yes. instead of a flip down so i'm okay. going to show you flip down but also there's a pocket there there's a pocket there so just keep that in mind there's really no wrong way to do this so let me just kind of show you how to do this okay so so to you're gonna pe your scissors. people now, would be able to sell these um, you trimmer you can you're going to cut this um on the very top where I would go is at the top of your paper. So for me, it is at the very top where my hearts are. You can see this is the two inch piece. You're gonna cut out this little piece 
right here. Okay. I'm and being what, asked, like, Teresa, if I'm crafting along. I'm actually making oh, you're a crafting tag. Along. You're crafting I'm making a tag totally on my own album, it. but yeah. I've got a mouthful of Hessian because I'm trying to get it through a hole. Oh, I love it. I love it. So <laughs> we're going to cut this piece here on the very top. And hopefully, because I'm cutting it on the lines, that might help you just a little bit. So this piece here, I use as a tab. So I, I keep that little piece here. Now, um, so and I'll just because I didn't use my trimmer, I will go back and sometimes just cut it just a little bit to to get it you know straight. Again, you could use your you can use your your um, trimmer to do that. And then along the bottom, you're also going to cut this long piece right here up to that first line. Hopefully that makes sense right here. You're going to cut that out and you're going to save this too because you can use. All of these I created like my flaps. And so again, so keep these little pieces if you want, if you're wanting to make yours more interactive. Now, so we've cut two pieces. We've cut this little side one, we've cut this one, okay? Now we are gonna cut the top piece and this very top piece, we're gonna go to the second line, okay? So we're gonna cut it. Basically there's a score line here and there's a score line, but then the second line, is where we're going to score it. So I'm going to try to do this without moving my paper too much so that you can kind of see. Because this way, if you're doing it with me, sometimes visually just seeing it really helps. So I'll try to. And again, this is not completely even. But um, if I was doing this not on TV, not on air, I would have probably slowed down a little bit. If that makes sense. Maybe even use my trimmer. And you can see here, I can already see I need to. Um, make sure that's a little bit more even. So then we have this piece cut, right? So we went to that second line and then we have this piece here that has, and you can see it has that little little um, score line there that might help you because I use this as a flap later. Now, along the bottom of your page, you have these two boxes and then the second score line, you're gonna cut there again. So you're gonna come up on that second score line and you're gonna go all the way up to where it's scored if that you can hopefully see that just I think, like that i think as soon as um the lovely ladies and gents who craft teresa have done one of these once they'll absolutely fly yeah. through it's just doing the initial one isn't it and then as soon as they've done the one maybe create one yeah. use it as a template and then you can go back and revisit your template. Look where your score lines are. And I'm certain, as you all do when we do little mini books, you'll do it once and then you'll you'll be back on it. Like, I did loads, I did loads, I couldn't stop. Yes, exactly. So with, after you've cut this, it will look like this. And I'll pause to let you kind of see this. So you can see here, you have, you have a flap here on the bottom. This is your sides. And then you should have four pieces that you're going to be able to embellish your, your card. Okay, so this is where I just, just so you can kind of see, you can see like when I fold this in, look at this, you can kind of see what's going on. And because you did that fold there, that's how we're, you know, it's creating like a folio pocket. And then you can see this is a flap and this is a flap. And then this goes in just like that. Now, it might bother some people that this is upside down. That doesn't bother me. If it does, you'll, you'll be able to cover it with other things. So at this point, what I like to do is I love to corner around things. So this is what I did for mine. I wanted you to be able to see it was a flap. So I would go in. Wow, I need to get, I've been, I've been busy. I need to clean this out so you can kind of see. Okay, so I'm just using my, my scoring, um, punch so I scored the side here and the, so this is like your flap so I scored mine and I can also tell Tony you can see right here the line so that is why if you're if you're kind of cutting it you you feel free to give it like a little trim so that it's it's even if that makes sense so that's the fun thing about doing working with paper so then you have this now for me I decided that I wanted to score these two, not score, uh, corner around these two. And it's completely up to you. I am a sucker for things that are scored. 
Um, so I love that. So if you like that too, then score those two sides. But also, because this is the outside of the book, you can see here, I scored this side and this side. You don't have to score those, but if you like that scored look, um, then go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna score this on this side. Here we go. It just gives it that, I think that kind of more finished look. It almost, and it looks like you would have paid for it. it doesn't, this book does not look handmade. So look how cute that is. Um, I love this because you could also, even though it's a folio, imagine doing a gift card, you guys. You could give somebody a gift card inside here. I'll show you this. So then you have this right here and you could keep it just like this, you guys, but you could also create a pocket with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my circle punch and I'm just going to go right in the center and punch a half circle so that you can kind of see, you know, how, how that works. Now, this is the, this is what's so really cool about this project is you can decide you could say, okay, I like this, and you could just glue this down or not. But the cool thing about this is because of your extra papers, you can create what I would say is like little flip outs, fold out. So I'm going to just show you randomly. And I, I don't even have this plan to show you how to quickly use all the pieces that we've cut. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, because you've already had this little section that's scored that was from one of your cutoffs, right? So for me, I will then take my, I, I would recommend a double, a good double-sided tape or a, you know, this is a real, this is a thinner one. You could use a red line tape. If you like glue, you could use glue. That one's not wanting to come off. Here we go, we'll just use this one. Um, but whatever you wanna do and then put the glue, because guess what? You can decide which side you want it to be on. For me, I think I want it to go like this. You can see right here. So I'm putting my adhesive just on that one scored edge that's already scored for you because I don't know about you guys, but I don't like to waste paper. I'm like, I'm going to use every single piece of this 12 by 12 paper. Okay. So I got my adhesive here and then I'm just going to put it right for me. I'm just going to put it right on the front of this cute little pocket because then look how cute that is. You can see I've got like a lift up going here and <laughs> You know, it, I can also glue just, this down and create a pocket here if I want. It just shows you, Teresa, every time you do these, they're going to be completely different if you want them to be, which is really, Absolutely. really lovely. Absolutely. Absolutely. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little, um, basically a pocket here. So what I did for this is you're just going to cut this um, piece right here. This is the one that had the two pieces that you cut off. And I'm just going to cut right here along the line. Okay. Now, again, you can do whatever, you know, you feel is like, if you like pockets, if you don't, but I wanted to show you. So I just took this and then this piece is about, gosh, it's about two and a quarter. So what I just do is I eyeball it. And I know that's kind of crazy. And um, I will cut it in half or just to save time because I know I want you to have time. I'm just going to fold it in half. Normally, I would say <laughs> cut it, do, do all that fun stuff. So basically what I'm doing is just to save time, I'm cutting mine directly in half because I've decided I want to make mine a um, like a expandable pocket with these two pieces. So what you're going to do is basically you're going to fold it in half again you got two pieces so i just fold this in half and what's really nice about this paper is i have a grid so i can kind of see where it's at so i'm going to take these two pieces and by the way you could use um, other paper too you do not have to use your extra papers you could create pockets because then you could do whatever you want so then what i do is i just take that exact same piece and i fold it again in half so again this is trying to show very on the fly, how I do this. Now you're going to go, well, how do I know if I did this right? Because you fold it in half. It should look like a W. Okay. That's what you're going for. So hopefully you can see that. Um, it should look like this. And then, so we've got it in half. And then I will do the same thing again. 
I'm going to fold it in half to make a what looks like is a W. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. You, it's going to be, it's completely fine. So you're going to notice, you're going to say, okay, so these are the two W's. You can see there, I've got two pieces. And what I like to do is because I love to flip things in the pockets and different things. So what I did here is um, the suggestion I have is like when you fold this over, if you're too close to these two edges, it's not going to want to lay the way I like it to lay. So what I like to do is I like to use my double sided tape on this because I, I know it's going to stay. So I don't have my thinner red line tape today with me. So I'm just going to use the thicker, but then I cut it in half. And what I do is I will take my, um, this little piece and I kind of visually, I don't come up to that first score line, you guys. I go a little, a little um, above it, if that makes sense. And then I cut it. You can trim it again if you want to, but then this way I can visually just kind of see how much I need. And then I put the red line tape only on one side, okay? So, and the more you do this, I promise it's going to get like a lot easier. And I know I'm going fast only because I know we want to show lots of things. And since we're, this will be recorded, so notice here, this is your score line, you guys. So don't, don't come all the way to the score line. And when you go to the edge, go to the edge, but not like completely to the edge, because that allows you a little bit of, um, just a little bit of, I call it like crafters, crafters grace. Now notice here, this is, if you see this, it's there, which is fine, but I did go above a little bit. So then this is where you're just going to take your scissors. And just trim it just trim that a little bit to you know so then you have your w over here and then you're going to do the exact same thing along the opposite side now okay. the more you make these the more you're like these are so perfect for cards for um gift cards gift certificates any of those things and so i like to cut it once but then again like i said i will cut it again because this is probably a little bit too much so i like to put my um, so I will put my red line tape. I can't right believe how quick. I can't believe how quick this comes together, Teresa. It's it, quite a quite a quick project, isn't it? Yeah, right. Just just on our Facebook page, we have lots and lots of people. We always seem to get a lot on Facebook when Teresa's with us in the studio. So I'm just going to do while she um, Teresa's just quickly sticking her sides there. I'm just going to do a quick yeah. shout out. Pat, Jeannie, Emma, uh, lots of you on. I, if you can, if you're able, please share the show. We want as many people to watch the show as possible. You know, it's really early where Teresa is in the world and it's knocking on a little bit here as well. So, you know, taking the time to be inspirational, even if it is just for an hour, please take the time to share. So Teresa's yeah. just popping her sides on. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> She's in the moment. Don't try and talk to her. If you've noticed, when I try and talk to her, I have to pick my moment because she gets that into it. You have to pick the perfect moment. Oh, my gosh. I know. It's so bad. You Once you start doing these things, you're like, oh, what can I do? Um, I call it paper magic. So I just put adhesive on this other side, you guys. And when you flip this up, look, we just created the cute accordion pocket look at this how cute oh, is this gorgeous you can kind of see there um and the rest is super you know i want to just show that you can take these and this the cool thing about this is then because it's already scored you could then take this and you could create another like pocket here or you can just do i love flips and flaps so for me i'm going to add another one here but then if it's okay with you, I'll let you, I would love to show you how to um, add an elastic bi um, binding in here because I think that is such a great way to um, add in like your little mini book. So you can say, this is one of my Teresa Collins Think Happy Thoughts. This is my little notebook. And I wanna show you how simple it is to, um, these are like the perfect gifts to give people because you could give them a gift card but then you could also give them 
like a little book inside of it. Um, Cause especially like for me, like it's hard to sometimes give people gifts that um, have meaning, but also that maybe encourage them. So yeah. that's what I love to do with my cards. So this is more than a folio. So I just put my adhesive on that one piece here. I'm going to put it here because then you can add like a little note to them. And then um, I'll quickly show you because you guys look how cute this is. Look how cute that is. So that I want to so show lovely. how to take it one step further. Is that okay? okay. Yeah. So Teresa, the um, books of Teresa's are on our website. If you're in the USA, you'll get them on Teresa's website. We have elastic on our website. We have eyelets, ringlets, tools to make all of this good stuff. So check it out on the website if you are interested. But equally, if you have it in your stash at home, you need to get crafty. So yeah, do you want to show us how to do that, Teresa? Because I'm a little bit intrigued as well, because I've never done the elastic. Although I love it, I haven't actually done it as of yet. Oh, okay. So I wanted to show... So how cute is this project? This was with my favorites collections. I wanted to show that right here, I just did um, a little mini book with the paper by, by folding it over. But I'm gonna show you how to use your elastic, which is so simple. You're gonna just take along your spine here, you can see where it's scored. You're gonna just take, and what I recommend, depending on what size book you're using, um, make sure that you don't come in too far because if your book's too big. So I know for my book, I want to come in. I just go in. Oh, wow. That's a little close. I may have went a little close on that just to be honest, but hopefully that will be okay. <laughs> and you're going to come in on that scored like one fourth section where it folds in. And I'm just going to come in both directions and do a, I like, oh, that's very tight, but go in just a little bit more, but that a very this is the small side of I'm just using the crocodile so whatever hole punch and then you're going to take your elastic this is just regular white elastic um, and like Tony said not all elastics the same so make sure you're using an elastic that is um, that you, that you like and that um, you know is sometimes they're just a little too thin but this one is awesome and so Tony has it and so you want to like use that good elastic so then you can do as many ties as you want. You can see here, I've got it through here. I tie mine on the inside. And if I'm going to add more than one book, I will add more than one tie. But what I do is I just come in and I don't want it too tight, you guys, but I don't want it too loose. And I like to just knot mine. So I do mine. There you can see I've got like two, maybe even three knots because I'm that girl that like, okay, let's do it again. Okay, so then what I do is then I take my scissors and I don't mind, I want to let the elastic have a little bit of, I don't cut it like so close, I don't want it, but you can see it does have a little tie there, right? So you can yep. see the tie. Yeah. And then, so simple, you guys, I'm just gonna take, this is my Teresa Collins gold mini notebook. Like, look at this, so cute. So then I'm gonna take this and I'm going so to cute. through my notebook. Here we go, so simple. Okay, look at this, you guys. And then I have, look at this. I can take this other one, my other notebook, and it literally will fit in this pocket too. So then this closes, closes, and you are absolutely done. That's it, you guys. That's, that's it. amazing. Oh, that's so cool. And the cool thing about it is, and Teresa will tell you this as well, in your stash, you will have paper clips, toppers, embellishments, uh, flowers, florals to decorate all of this stuff as well. So all you need to literally do today is dig out that 12 by 12 paper. Look at the projects that Teresa's done. Teresa, will you post some pictures on your social media of the different ones that you've done? Absolutely. And I Perfect. even have video that I sent to you that I will be posting today. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to put it on TikTok. So yes, we will do that. Yeah, so make sure you go and check out Teresa's social media as well. Right, I'm going to leave Teresa to tidy up for a second because I'm not sure if she's wanting to craft along with me. Now, I didn't actually know what Teresa was doing in the sense like how it was going to be put together. I saw a video of the project and how beautiful it was with all of the embellishments, but I didn't know how it was put together because I didn't ask. So basically, I'm going to do a little bit of a project now with a 12 by 12. And actually, it's quite similar. <laughs> <laughs> and I had no idea, but I'll show you a couple of ways we can chop it up a little bit and maybe 
what Teresa's made with hers, you can combine with mine and make one big project. How about that? So whatever you do, if you do make one, actually, I'll ask a quick question. How many of you are actually crafting along and how many of you are waiting until we've gone off air to do it yourselves in your own time? Because I know sometimes when you're under a little bit of pressure like me, like I did last time with Teresa, you get yourself all in a, in a fizz and it goes a bit, you know. So you'll have to let me know who's crafting along and don't forget to share your makes over on all of the social media platforms because we love to see your makes. We really do. That is what it's all about. So I'm going to do a little bit of a project as well, 12 by 12, because that's a theme. That's what we love. But it's Christmas in my world. As you all know, we launched Christmas on TV. So it's still Christmas at Stamps by Me. And we have our Christmas workshop on Sunday free on YouTube as well. So check that out. But basically, I have a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And you're going to be able to see how easy this is for me. So I have a scoreboard. And it's one of Teresa's lovely Christmas ones with those chunky, chubby cheek Santas on there as well. So I, I really, really like this one. So what I'm going to do, well, let's just bring it into shot if possible. There we go. So you need a scoreboard. Oh, I am working whilst watching, so we'll have a go later. Donna, you're very naughty. I'm, I'm waiting to do it off air. I normally craft along if I'm... I'm in, I'm on wait. Yeah, if you're under a bit of pressure, you sort of like rush, don't you? Later, everybody seems to be doing it later. So therefore, uh, don't forget to co comment and maybe share if possible. And if you can share the video later, that would be appreciated. So 12 by 12, super easy, okay? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to score at one inch on mine. So give it a good score line. And then I'm going to turn the piece of 12 by 12 around and do it on the other side, one inch. Super easy. Like we said and Teresa said, you know, once you've done it once, you'll be done. So I'm going to pop it back in. So I've got a one inch score line here, one inch score line here. Super easy. And then I'm just going to pop it into the scoreboard and score down the middle at six. Give it a good score line on there as well. So one sheet, one inch, one inch and in the middle at six. She's going to, oh, Trisha's going to do some projects later. Wendy Dello will do on replay, Tony. Perfect. At least you're getting involved. That's all that matters. So as you can see, three score lines. Super easy. Now you can pause, you can screenshot, and you can go back and watch at any point. So I'm going to turn my piece of paper. Now, it doesn't really matter if you go right or left. Teresa's had a specific turn because of some of the components in there. But on mine, it doesn't matter left or right. So I'm just going to go right, and I'm going to score at four and a half. And that's our, that's our scoring done. Just give it another score, like so. So I'm just going to bring my paper in here, super easy. So what I'm going to do, I don't know if you can see the score lines, you probably can't. Let's, let's fold it, shall we, on the score lines, that might help. So if let's fold it in half, because we scored it down the middle, didn't we? Super easy. So I scored it down the middle. We did a one inch on the left. We did a one inch on the right. Super easy. And then we did a four and a half, didn't we? So let's pull that up there. So bear in mind, when you use your pattern papers, I'm going to cover this so it's not going to matter that the trees are upside down because they're the right way where I need them to be. But bear in mind when you're picking your pattern papers about your patterns and things, OK? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut up to that centre piece there. You see that there? Up to the four and a half line there. And then I'm going to cut away these little one-inch strips on the left and on the right. Super easy. Now, most of you have done lots of this type of crafting with me in Studio 3, haven't you? So a lot of you will be quick off the mark with this anyway. But if you are brand new to the channel, welcome to the channel. We do appreciate your time. We do appreciate your company also. Um, we are a lovely, um, inspirational channel that just share the absolute love of craft. Nothing more, nothing less. So there we go. So you can see there, we just cut our way our little lunch panels and then we've got that lovely cut down the centre. Now I'm just going to fold it in half because I like to take away some of the bulk in the centre of the pockets and I'll show you. So just fold it in half and I'm just going to take away some of the bulk here by taking it from the point down. Then when you open it up, look what happens. Can you see how you've got this gap here in your card? That just helps when we come to pop our pockets up to stop them from catching in the middle. Can we see that there? 
so it gives you like a pocket here just gets rid of some of that ugly bulk because the connect and the catch and it doesn't it's not very nice so i like to take away some of that bulk there okay and then all i'm going to do very quickly and super easy is i'm just going to pop leave my pockets up like that then i'm just going to take my scissors and i'm just going to cut to the top of that pocket like that can you see there and then the other side super easy and I'm going to sort of seal the end of this pocket. And again, I don't like the bulk. If I folded that over, it, it doesn't look very nice on the eye. You know, like Teresa used her corner punch to soften the edges and make it look a little bit more professional. I like to do that as well. So I always take a little bit off the edge and give it a nice sort of like envelope flap finish. Just tidy it up a little bit. So when you fold it over, it just looks a little bit neater. And then this side. See, for, I know we've all just launched Christmas. We're all hopefully getting our Christmas things done and out of the way. So, you know, um, these would be great to sell at your local church, your crafting events, community events, you know, raising money for charity. Because it's a, it's a sheet of 12 by 12. It's up to you how you embellish and the cost of it. So, you know, you can be really, really creative. Now, so these are going to seal, these flaps here are going to just be glued in place over here. Can we see here? And then we have a folio pocket on the left and then if we glue this one we'll have one on the right now i've left these tabs intentionally however you can cut them off if you don't want them but i find that if you do a corner punch on them and give them a rounded edge it looks like a, a folio tab in a book so but it is personal preference and you will as as we've already said you'll do it once and then you'll change up the design and um do it yourself to your sort of spec or your idea. So let's just glue this down here. So super easy, just some glue or double-sided tape, whatever you have in your stash. I know we all like to use our favorite things. I'm just gonna fold this over here and then this one over here. And then when you fold it shut, you have a lovely sort of mini album. Now. You can cur curve these corners too if you want to. I'll do that in a second. Just give it a good old push down here. Give it a good old crease on those score lines and things like that. So if you just wanted to do one with maybe like one of Teresa's books, maybe one of the smaller ones, can you see here on the left and then one on the right, you could absolutely do that as well. But it is personal preference. You can corner the at ends here as well. Oh, you're, are you loving this one, uh, Wendy? Oh. We love them all. We love Studio 3. We love Teresa. Oh, do you now? What about me? <laughs> oh, we do love Teresa, though, don't we? Right, so that is, in a sense, how you make sort of that project out of one sheet of 12 by 12. But I wanted to sort of step it up a little bit. And do you know how we did this sort of pocket? We scored it at four and a half, didn't we? But if you score it at three and a half or five and a half or four or three, you get sort of different length pockets which gives you a little bit of interest in your book. And these tabs get bigger and smaller. So let me just show you a few that I've already done. So that's one we've just done together. So here's another one. All in lovely Teresa's Christmas papers here, the black and white. And then, so I've got lots here. Now, another creative, now you could do them just as a little book like this, decorate them if you want to, but I'm just gonna jazz it up a little bit, okay? Now, I don't have my crocodile, but if I did, I would punch holes, but I've already gone and pierced it. Let me show you with my pokey tool. And what I'm going to do is, which one do I like the most? I love the watercolour. You know, watercolour is just me, don't you? So you can see I've punched some holes with my pokey tool just through the centre, one there and one there. And now you can see if I change the size of my pocket, my tabs get bigger. Look, can we see? Tab bigger, tab smaller. And then another one here. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to, rather than um, elastic, I'm going to use some Christmassy type of twine. So I'm just going to push it through here. This twine is also on the website as well. Now, if you have some like Christmas bells, can you imagine having like a bow with big bells and things on that? Be cool, wouldn't it? So I'm just pushing these through all of the holes on the top of each one. She says, grab it, grab it. And then line them all up and then we'll just go through the bottom holes with our twine 
So like Teresa's project just took about 20 minutes from start to finish. Mine's going to take about similar 15, 20 minutes. OK, so just think about and that's like starting from scratch, understanding the measurements, being a little bit worried about am I going to get it right? Am I going to get it wrong? Think about the speed that you're going to be able to do these if um, you're doing them as like, like I say, gifts or table settings or a family photo. Can you imagine everybody in the Christmas PJs photos in these? So I'm just going to pull it tight, pull it together as if it's a cross stitch like so. And then I'm just going to turn it over and then let's tie, tie it together. Now, what I have done is in Teresa's papers, you get these like lovely tags with like um, sentiments, quotes, do not open until Christmas. And what I've done is I've pierced some holes and put some of that lovely sort of twine through there and all i'm going to do is i'm just going to feed this lovely tag onto the side so it's part of my spine through, feed it through one of the loops or the holes don't be precious about it like so and then we'll bind it all together not too tight because you want your tags to be a little bit fluid and free put a nice big twine bow on there And you can trim the legs if you want to. So you have all of like, can we see that here? I will, I will, I will um, trim the legs. We've got a lot of stuff going on, but you can see the idea here. And then to bring it all together, you can see like the tabs now on here. So within those papers, you can absolutely go to town. So I'm just going to quickly add some embellishments to the front of my book. So I have cut some of the toppers that are available in the papers as well. Um, and I'm just going to pop one here very quickly, like so. And then I've got do not open until Christmas. You can't open it. You might have a little bit of money and you don't know. It might be a nice surprise. Then we'll put do not open until Christmas. And then we've got Santa. And he's on a pad. So I'll pop Santa over the corner. And then I've got some, because there's such a variation of sized sentiments in there, I'm going to pop this on the front tab, holly jolly. Like so. And then when you open, this way you can really be creative. So you can start to add embellishments like pockets with tags and things like that. What I did was I created some cute note cards as well. So you can use the words onto note cards so they could go into there as well. And then let's have a look. Be merry. So very quickly, nothing too fancy, just literally adding the detail. Let's bring that a bit lower. And then we've got peace here, which I just popped down the bottom corner. Now that'd be a great space for a family photo. And then make sure it's straight, Tony. And then maybe another little tab design here. I'm not going to decorate it all and I will trim the legs on the Hessian. But you can see how quickly, you can see from the outset how quickly and gorgeous your sort of album's going to come together. And then in this pocket, we could pop one of Teresa's books in as well, because it fits beautifully, the gold book from Teresa's collection as well. And then I don't really want to put too much on, because I think a lot, I think space sometimes is brilliant for people to be a little bit creative with their own products, like pictures and like a trap traveling and let's just pop this one on here peace on earth and then let's see what else we've got going on i'm gonna leave it let me just trim the legs but you can see how quickly um it all comes together when you i mean can you imagine some gold sparkly ribbon in and amongst these beautiful tags on this gift would be amazing wouldn't it so let me just trim i don't want to cut the wrong one <laughs> where's the legs there we go. That's that one, and there's that one. So there we have a cute sort of little quick, quick, quick mini album. So this one's a little bit bigger to, than Teresa. So bear in mind what the project is you're working for. You'll be able to sort of make it for whatever project you're making. So do not open until Christmas. What do you think of that, Teresa? I'm. Uh ready to make this i'm like how am i gonna work today i just want to sit i'm gonna recreate your book i'm obsessed 
It's because it's paper. <laughs> she loves like paper. It doesn't matter what you do with it. She just loves anything that you do with it. Do you like it, everyone? Oh, oh, we've got some fans. We've got some fans. Super easy, though. 20 minutes each to create. You could do several of each. I would say you're going to get quite a bit of uh, money back by selling these. Make them personalised. And as well, you can decorate them. Save some bits in like a container. And then when a customer comes and says, oh, I'm not really a fan of blue or I'm not really a fan of yellow. And then you can say, well, I've got these other embellishments. So we can put pink on. We can put yellow, uh, purple on. Whatever you want to do, you can absolutely do. You know that. So let's have a look. I will recreate both of these. Is everybody, what shall we do next, Teresa? 12 by 12, what can we do next? We'll give it some thought, because me and Teresa have got a meeting after here, haven't we, Teresa? What are we having a meeting about? I'll let you talk about it. <laughs> I, I just love this, by the way. Like, I love that you can, what you can make out of, like you said, like 12 by 12 or eight and a half by 11. Um, part of what we want to do I think my audio went out. You're done. No, no, I can hear you. Oh, I was, I, I'm, I'm way behind. Sorry. Okay, I can I'm hear you. To talk to you and talk to you at the same time. <laughs> so after this show, me and Teresa have got a meeting about the cruise. The cruise what? and the cruise. The cruise. The cruise. We're gonna. Do those fine now when I asked you all to put an expression of interest in about the cruise, I was blown away by the messages. Not that I'm panicking or anything, Teresa, but yes, we've had a lot of interest. So we're gonna tie up the final details and hopefully by next week we'll have something for you all. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Um and then you'll be able to get saving if you want to come on the crafty cruise next year if you want to. We're super excited. So I would just like to say a big thank you. I always have fun with you, Teresa. It's an amazing time to just have half an hour with some paper and your lovely self creating projects that people are going to be able to achieve. Thank you. I love this. I, I think um people can see that you and I love to like share what we do and so thanks for everybody joining us and we'll keep we'll continue doing this every month with you so we love it thank you so much sweetheart i'll see you in about 10 minutes okay sounds good bye darling so bye, how cool is that another teresa show under my belt now if you just said to me 12 months or two years ago you are going to be with teresa collins in your own studio creating projects together i'd have been like not a chance. Not a chance. Tony, Tim and Tom and Teresa. Hey, Tony, Tim, Tom, Teresa. Oh, we can't miss Brian out. I'm Brian. Um, but yeah, what an achievement. Again, what did I keep what do I keep saying to everybody? Bucket list. Tick. Another one for the show. Right, so I am gonna give this lovely album away for for anybody who pops a comment underneath this um, show, and I'll also pop in some Teresa Collins goodies as well, just to say thank you. So don't forget to pop a comment underneath this video. And if you have the opportunity to share, then please do share. We do a lot, a lot of giveaways for in studio. Uh, just to say thank you for tuning in most days because we're live all of the time. Right, let's have a look what's going on. So tomorrow, oh my gosh, Tim's just popped the biggest list up ever. Not that I'm panicking and I didn't know anything about it. I really did. I really did. So tomorrow we have a brand new launch with me at one o'clock. Then with Carly on Saturday, 7am, 11am over on Create and Craft. That's a brand new iMala 2021, I believe. And it's a good one. And then on Monday, we have Simon, who's doing a Christmas show for you with lots of um, inspiration in there as well. That's at twer Sorry. Sorry, my apologies. I'm skipping myself out there. Christmas with myself in my own studio, Studio 3, at 5. That's a four-hour show, OK? We will have a break in the middle, but grab your Christmas products, whether it's my products, anybody else's products, and we're going to be creative. And I will pop a short list on social media about the products that you will need, i.e. cardstock, what size, coloured cardstock, whatever it's going to be. On Monday, you have Festive Penguins with Simon. Monday, Create and Craft Product Preview with me back in Studio 3. And Tuesday, Funky Fossil, brand new product from Sarah Gray. So whatever you're doing, have a lovely afternoon, stroke evening. Stay safe in this sunshine, and I will see you all soon. And I'll have news about the cruise. I'll see you all later, everyone. Take care. Bye.